In part four of lecture three, we will discuss writing accessors and mutators. Encapsulation means that data belonging to this class will be hidden from other classes that will use the methods belonging to this class. Public properties and public methods may be used by objects belonging to other classes, but private properties and private methods may not be used by objects of other classes. Other classes will not have any way of knowing even if they exist unless there are other methods that will help us make use of them. Accessor methods make private data items available to other classes. Mutator methods allow private data items to be changed. Typically, accessor methods will have names that begin with the prefix get, and mutator methods will have names with the prefix set. For this reason, accessors are frequently referred to as getters, and mutator methods are referred to as setters. It may seem to defeat the purpose of making these items private, allowing easy access and easy opportunity to change them. However, what we'll find is that generally we'll be controlling exactly how and when they are accessed, and even more importantly, how and when their values will be changed. We will now look at a fifth attempt to write the date class. As in the previous case, the lines that we'll discuss will only be the ones in boldface, which represent changes from the previous version or additions. In this case, you'll see the only thing that's changed in this one slide is that the header for the class now reads public class date fifth try. As you can see, we are going to do a major rewrite of the method read input. This will allow us to make sure that the data that we read in is reasonable and that requires some additional data checking. We start off with the same comment as before, read input, read a date from the keyboard, public void read input, and after we open the method, we write boolean try again equals true. And then scanner keyboard equals new scanner system in. The comment now tells us that we're going to keep asking until the user enters a valid date. So we begin this loop with while try again, and inside the open brace, we'll write system out println, enter month, day, and year. System out println as three integers. System out println do not use commas or other punctuation. And then we read in our values, int month input, keyboard next int, int day input, keyboard next int, int year input, keyboard next int. We now want to see if the data is all valid, in which case we don't have to repeat this anymore. We write if date okay, month input, day input, year input, and after closing the parentheses and opening a brace, we write set date, month input, day input, year input, and then try again equals false. We can see here that what we've done is we found the data is valid, we save it, and we indicate we don't need to try again. Else, system out println illegal date, re-enter input. Obviously, one or more of the data items was invalid. Therefore, we'll have to do it again. We have a closed brace for the loop, we have a closed brace for the method. We are now going to rewrite set date. Now, officially, we call it a mutator in the comment, a mutator that expects the month in numeric format. Public void set date, int month, int day, int year. Now, the first thing we're going to do is check and make sure the date is okay. If date okay, month, day, year, this month equals month string month, this day equals day, this year equals year. 
after the closed brace, we have an else, and inside the braces we write here, system out println fatal error invalid date, and system exit zero. If the date is valid, we'll change it. If the date is not valid, we're going to terminate execution. We now write separate mutators for month, day, and year. The mutator for month, set month, begins with a comment, a mutator for month that checks whether it is a valid value for month. Public void set month, int month number. We are giving a value of the month as a number because this makes it easier to check to make sure that it's valid. If month number is less than or equal to zero or month number is greater than 12, system out println fatal error invalid month system exit zero if the valid if the number for month is invalid we will terminate the program right here otherwise else month equals month string month number we convert the number into the name of the month and that's what we save we now write the mutator for day beginning with a comment a mutator for day that checks whether it is a valid value for day. Public void set day, int day. If day is less than or equal to zero, or day is greater than 31, system out println fatal error invalid day. System exit zero. If the day is invalid, we're going to call it out as an error. The one flaw in this is that we're not checking and keeping into mind that February, April, June, September, and November all have fewer than 31 days. This still is ahead of what we had before. If this is not the case, we then write else this day equals day. Let's finish these by writing set year which begins with a comment, a mutator for year, that checks whether it is a valid value for year. We begin with a header, public void set year int year. We've picked a range of years that we're going to stick within between what year 1000 and the year 9999. Obviously, this is a very wide range. If year is less than 1,000 or year is greater than 99.99, system out println fatal error invalid year, system exit zero. Else, this year equals year. If it's inside the range, we'll save it. Otherwise, we'll terminate execution. Equals is a little different from before because we now will allow the month to be the same regardless of what case it is written in. Equals returns true if the parameter and the object are the same date. Returns false otherwise. Public boolean equals date fifth try other date. Return month equals ignore case other date month and day equals other date day and year equals other date year. We have precedes again, returns true if the object is an earlier date than the parameter, returns false otherwise. Public boolean precedes date fifth try other date. Return year is less than other date year or year equals other date year and get month is less than other date get month or year equals other date year and month equals other date month and day equals other date day. Get month returns the month as a number. Public int get month. You'll notice in these cases the month can be case insensitive and in either case will return the number associated with the month. If month equals ignore case January, return one. If month equals ignore case February, return two. And so on until we reach if month equals ignore case December, return 12. Now, if we've gotten through all of these, we now run into an else. 
else, open brace. System out Printlin, fatal error, not a valid month. We have a comment now, since it isn't valid, terminate the program, system exit zero. And now we have a comment, the compiler insists on this return, return zero. We have to have every case accounted for, even some that seemingly we probably won't reach. Since the other two accessors are only in numeric form, they are much simpler to write. Get day accessor for the day. Public int get day return day. Get year accessor for the year. Public int get year return year. And now we'll throw in here to string, which will convert the date to a string. Public string to string return month plus blank plus day plus comma blank plus year. We now have date okay, something that other methods here have made use of. Date okay returns true if the date is valid, returns false if the date is invalid, assumes that the month is in numeric format. Public boolean date okay, int month int, int day int, int year int, returns month int is greater than or equal to 1, and month int is less than or equal to 12, and day int is greater than or equal to 1, and day int is less than or equal to 31, and year int is greater than or equal to 1000, and year int is less than or equal to 9999. The last method we write in the class is month string, which will return the string for the month specified in numeric format. Public string month string, int month number.